So this is my mass www.mymass.co.uk highlighted at the top there mymass.co.uk um, the school login is INTST and the password students have it in their planners written down and probably know it if not they can always ask the teacher when they log in brings up this screen where students can practice any section they like without the teacher being aware of what they've practiced or how many times they've practiced it be it in the four different categories of number, algebra, shape and data is more commonly known the world over as statistics and shape is geometry today we're having a look at percentages so imagine the student wanted to practice their percentages of amounts they have two options when they click on an activity they have a lesson option and they have an online homework the lesson option will show them and try and teach them how to do it and the homework then is a series of questions to test and they can see their result at the end of it if they couldn't find what they were looking for by browsing these columns there's a search option here which is very useful they just type in the keyword of what they're looking for and all the options with that keyword in come up so the search option is also another way to get there I'm going to go to percentage amounts if I scroll up or scroll down percentage of amounts two we can see there and percentage of amount one is here I go into the lesson the lesson has a sequence of slides um, if there's a next button at the bottom of a slide they press it and it will move through the various sections of that single slide there's a talk to me button here um, and there's lots of interactive content which is why we like my mass for assisting pupils when that next button disappears it means there is no further explanation if they need a calculator they click on calc and a calculator will come up here where they can do um, whichever functions they need to do obviously they need to turn it on first and then they can work away there's an overlay which is just to change the appearance that can make a big difference for some students and then the index just reminds them what each slide discusses in this help section and when they finish one section if they click on the next slide it will take them to the next slide and again next and they can use the slider to go back through that content at their own pace when they feel like they need some further practice they can come out of there or they can leave it open so it can be open on another tab whilst they do the homework so we're going to go back to the percentage of amounts and homework and homeworks look like this so imagine a teacher had set a homework the student will then need to log in so all of that was without the teacher seeing and people can practice as much as they like for homeworks that teachers set they need to use their personal login which again they have in their planners or they can simply ask the teacher if they've forgotten but really they should have it in their planners and know it by heart preferably the activities and homeworks that are still to do are in blue others may appear in red that means the time's run out if they want to view their past results and homeworks they've done they can view them here uh, I've not attempted these most students would have results there my homework is the current homework if I click on the blue again I've got the option to revise first or in this case I'm going to launch straight into the activity it's really important and we do stress this to students and I, I hope most are doing it and they're welcome to hand it in with their work is that they do all their working out on paper the temptation with computers is to stop working out on paper and just enter in your answers and do things in your head that's certainly not good practice so we're still expecting students to be doing all their working out on paper but they're just entering their answers here and that way if there's any difficulty we can then look at their working to see where the problems arose so I'm just going to enter a couple of quick answers some might be right, some may be wrong and then go into market so I've got one right and one wrong and it shows me the correct answer underneath um, to move a bit faster I'm only going to do one question here and then it saves my scores when I've finished at the end I click market and it will save my scores so it says I can go and see what's happening in my checkout now if at any time I wanted to go back to the lesson I could click on here or I could have just left the lesson open in another tab there Um, so now I'm going to refresh this page so I can see what my results were. So resend. I'll log back in again. And go back into my homework and I can see my results this time. 
So in my homework, nothing now appears, because that means I've done the homework for this session. And in my results, the homework appears. I got 14%. Okay, it means I probably didn't understand as much as I need to. I probably need more practice. And the great thing with my maths is the questions are randomly generated. So if I click on that again, I can redo the homework, and the questions will be different to the previous time. And we recommend, and we appreciate fully that often time may not allow, but if it does allow, to go back and try and keep doing that until they get 70%, and looking at the lesson to help as and when is required. So that's a quick summary of my maths.